Assalamu alaikum, my name is Adam Adeo and I'm going to be talking about my journal over the two weeks and what I've done to qualify to to qualify me to heaven. So, Monday, March 2014, I, I had at night a really weird dream that made me scream for most of the evening. It was really scary. Sometime after my soul left my body to show me images in what we call dreams, I saw this huge shadowy black figure in a pure white streak. As I was heading toward the black figure cautiously, I felt a huge burst of heat. I felt like I was dying a million times a second and every pore in my body screamed. I realized I wasn't even close to the figure but around 500 yards away from it. Shaking, I head for the, for the white figure. I instantly feel happiness but with a weird taste of tension and judgment. I, I wake up with a start and realize that those two are oddly related to heaven and hell. From that day onwards most, to, to most of the week, I feel paranoid about trying to pr impress a law so that I can get as far away from that black oblivion as I can. I quake with fear at the power God has and how little we are compared to him. We are worth less than the dirt we step on earth every day. The next day, I was forced to do many projects and was therefore really angry. Th this anger led to a consequence that separates me further from Allah. My si little sister, Dina, likes to annoy me and therefore, while I'm doing my work, she, she starts making farting sounds. I yell at her to stop and she runs away. Later that day, I, after finishing my last prayer, I feel somehow cleaner and wiser. I don't feel mad anymore and I start feeling guilty for what I had done to my sister. I run to, to her and beg for, for and beg her for forgiveness, and she says yes, if, uh, but only if I try not to do it to do that to anyone ever again. I accept her terms and long to be able to control my anger so it does not get to me. After she forgives me, I feel happier and a huge weight falls off my shoulder. I enjoy the rest of my day taking care to be extra nice to my family. Today, um, Wednesday, March 2014. Today I was reading a little Quran and trying to attain a closer relationship with him. Part of the reason why I was doing this, I admit, was that I was so paranoid that I might die suddenly and go to hell and get tortured. I prayed to Allah to give me, to give me and my family a quick and harmless passage to heaven. I hope he will respond and do me that huge favor. I fear Allah's wrath more than any others. I can't imagine the other horrors that await the non-believers other than hellfire. May we all attain Allah's mercy and have a harmless passage to heaven, inshallah. Thursday, March 2014. Today was an exciting day. My my mom was uh, today was an unexciting day. My mom was out sick with cold, with the cold, and I tried to make her feel better. She looks okay, but a little tired and weak. I'm giving her a cold and allergy medicine in hope in hopes of curing her sickness. Our dad is is at work and my mom can't drive to the doctor so we make do with the medicine we have at home. After a couple of hours she to my relief looks a little bit better. I feel amazing after helping nourish my mom and, and I believe Allah has made me feel this way. I feel somehow more connected to Allah and more holy. I wish all Muslims around the world get cured of their sickness so they can resume their daily lives. Friday, March 2014. Today was, today was Friday so I headed towards Friday prayer with my father. At the mosque, the imam was talking about a man who had so much wealth, but instead of thanking God that he was blessed with his wealth, he became arrogant and claimed that all the wealth he had was a result of his hard work and effort. Therefore, to teach him a lesson, Allah made the man die a horrible death and his riches did not help him. He, 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 did, he spent all his days counting his money instead of finding new friends and trying to make good relationships with Muslims. Therefore, he and his riches sunk into the sand and was never found again. The story benefited me because I learned that all, all you have is God's and not yours, and that Allah can kill you whenever, you want, whenever he wants. As well, waste, instead of wasting your life on something dumb, you should really spend your time in, in this life doing good deeds and making friends you can rely on. Saturday, March 2014. Today I did nothing interesting but read Man Around the Messenger to do the essay that was required in Thompson Middle School Sunday Academy. Although it can sometimes be difficult to find the time to do the essays every week, it certainly pays off. I get to learn more about the wonderful accomplishments and lives of the companions the Prophet handpicked to help him with his huge task of spreading Islam. If it wasn't for these wonderful men, the Prophet might not have succeeded at spreading our beloved religion. They sacrificed everything so that we can enjoy the huge benefits of being a Muslim. So at the least we can do is honor them by studying and, re and searching up what they did so that we can acquire some of their traits and become better Muslims ourselves. Sunday, March 2014. 
Today, my siblings and I head over to Thompson Middle School where we can learn many amazing facts due to our wise Islamic studies teacher, Altif uh, Shaban. We are lucky that he has assigned, assigned us no homework so that we can focus on doing our journal entries. Thank God he did that because I was sort of lagging behind on my journal entries. It is kind of, it's like always a good feeling to talk in front of the class and express my feelings and conclusions about, about the best men that ever walked on this earth. I feel that with each passing week, I am becoming more and more comfortable with talking publicly, and special, especially in front of my dean class. I'm comfortable enough today to walk, to be able to talk freely without looking at my paper. I am working hard to stop myself from moving while I talk, but I do it subconsciously, so it's ex extremely hard to stop myself after I've been doing it for most of my life. Monday, March 2014. Today was very boring except for the fact that I got a new book from Amazon that got sent to us today. It's called 10 Amazing Muslims Touched by God. The book is very interesting and tells about 10 Muslims who got to meet God and what their experiences were. The, the author, Faisal Malik, does a great job writing the stories. He richly describes the people and how God chose to reveal himself to them in very supernatural ways. I spend most of my day reading the book and I don't finish it because I often stop reading after a chapter or two to take in and comprehend what the author is trying to tell you. Therefore, I only finished two of the ten Muslims and I'm halfway through the third when my mom tells me it's time to sleep. I plan on reading more tomorrow and I'm about to put the book away when I spot a website on the back. It reads www.amazingmuslims.com. I plan on visiting the, the, the website once I finish reading the book. It's so full of information to last you days of reading, although it looks very small. The author does an amazing job of cramming tons of info in a small amount of page so it looks appealing to younger kids who don't enjoy reading. If you wish to really learn and, from and apply from this book, it should last you months. Tuesday, April, uh, Tuesday, April 2014. I have read more. I have, I have read more of the book today, but still haven't finished it. The book makes me shiver with excitement and enthrallment at every corner. I feel bet I feel closer to Allah, and therefore I I feel like um, I, I feel like these two weeks have made me more closer to Allah. Although there are some um, there are some experiences that made me farther. Thank you.